always looking for inspiring people for our Making a Difference segment because they often make a difference without even knowing it. Take George Lee, for instance. His co-workers thought he was worthy of a story. We met at the airport and found out he's doing all he can to help make sure that curbside baggage check isn't kicked to the curb. Sometimes the friendly skies don't seem so friendly anymore. Not when airport hustle and bustle is replaced by hassle. All the lines I have to wait in to get to where I'm going. Security's great, don't get me wrong, but they could be a little more efficient. But at Lambert's Terminal 2, just before the unavoidable, you checking? is a hiatus How you doing, my brother? of affable. My bad, I'm here, man, I'm here. George Lee is a sky cap. And often the first face people see. Sir, come on down, my man. When they arrive for their departure. I need your ID, please. George by far has to be one of the most amazing men I've ever met. Give me next, please. Come on down, see me. Amazing because long after most people have checked out of their full-time jobs. What, we're going to Denver? George is still helping customers check in. What is the best thing about your job? The people. And my co-worker, how you doing? What's up? You good? Mm -hmm. All right. He's still doing the heavy lifting at age 70. Ugh. Even when the temperatures are below freezing. Give me next, please. A couple pair of pants on and a, a, a long john, and, and we stand right here and get it done. George first took the post 40 years ago, and he needed two other jobs just to make a living. And it became tough again after 9-11. So how has the security changed things? Oh, it's, uh, it's a bit different. I could check a bag here, take it out to the plane if I had to. Security was a breeze. But George believes when things get tough, you tough it out. One thing about it, he come to work every day, on time, and don't want to miss a day. But recently, George had to miss a few days because of a cancer scare. I had, I had a polyp on my voice box. It turns out it wasn't cancer. George says he probably just talks too much. You all set. Thanks a lot, George. Thank you, my man. He's a great person to talk to, great person to laugh with, and just hang out with. So how you been, girl? When and if he does retire, George says he hopes to spend more time with his children and grandchildren. And more time on the dance floor. Oh, he loves to dance. He bopping all day. I think he's the best bopper in town. You got a name tag on his back? Until then, you might want to make George your first stop before your non-stop. Come on down, ma'am. Because he has a simple motto. You just smile when they come and give him some friendly to look at. George Lee. Thank you. You know I appreciate you. You already know. Thank you. Helping stressed out passengers fly right. George is a great man. George says the biggest tip he ever got was $200, but says... He's just happy when people give him a little something for doing a good job. And a reminder, if you know someone inspiring or someone making a difference, let us know. Send an email to mbush at ksdk.com.